This is Al Brooks, and this is Friday, November 9th, 2012. And I am recording a blog regarding modules in the Brooks trading course. Today I'm going to be talking about the 5-minute e-mini. And I'll be talking about Module 25, Measured Moves, Support and Resistance. Module 9, Setups. Module 34, How to Trade. Module 18, Final Flags. And Module 44, Trading um, Trend Channel Reversals. Let me start with the cash index of the <coughs> S&P. I've been saying for about a month now that I think it's in a bear trend because it's forming lower highs and lower lows. And today's open, I think, was particularly interesting. This is the cash index. I could show the same thing with the Spider or the uh, E-mini. They all show about the same thing. Today, coming in before the day started, actually in the first minute of the day, I, I talked about this in the chat room, that we're at a confluence of things that was um, likely to lead to a reversal today. On the daily chart, there's a measured move down based upon the, the height of the original trading range. There's also a measured move down based upon this uh, double bottom bull flag on the 60-minute chart. This is the daily chart, but on the 60-minute chart, this low and that low um, were an attempt to form a double bottom bull flag. And we're exactly at that measured move. We're at a leg one equal uh, leg two measured move. So leg one, sharp sell off, pull back, and uh, leg two. And you know we opened um, on the E-mini at least exactly at that um, uh, target. <coughs> and we're also at the bottom of a uh, trend channel. Um, I don't have the top of the channel drawn, but we're at a trend channel line. And this is true on all the uh, charts. The the cash chart, which is here, the spider, and the e-mini. So you know, we have a confluence of support. And although most support fails, when the market does bounce, it always bounces at support. And when you have a collection of support, especially in an overdone market, and the market is right at uh, all of those um, support areas, the chances are pretty good that you'll get a bounce. So coming into Today, on the very first, in the very first, in the very first seconds of the day, I talked about a possible low of the day on the first bar. This is the 15-minute chart, and there are other factors going on as well. On the 15-minute chart, there was a trend channel line over the past couple of days, and then a tight channel from yesterday. And we opened. This is the spider, uh, and we opened right at those levels. So there was a lot of supportive context for a long. Context is everything to the left. The signal bar is just the one bar. Sometimes it's a two bar pattern. So the context uh, was very supportive of a rally um, today. And here's the five minute chart. Again the spider. I could use, I could use the e-mini as well. And you had all of this support operating on the 15 minute chart and the daily chart. And the first part of the day was a big bar with a close near its high, a bull reversal bar. So we had very strong context that supports a rally. And then we also had a very strong signal bar. And to me, that is a reliable setup for a possible low of the day. You could buy one tick above the first bar, place a stop below its low, and swing up. Uh, you could buy above it, scalp out, enter again here, or the market became always in long, probably, well, it probably became always in long right above bar one. Most traders, as soon as it went above bar one or above this bar, most traders believed the day was going higher. But certainly by the end of this bar, traders were confident that it was going to go higher. So you could have bought anywhere as these two bars were forming or at the close of this bar or any time afterwards, expecting some kind of measured move up based on the height of the spike. So Module 25 talks about support and resistance and measured moves. Uh, module, module 9, setups. Okay, here's a, uh, we have a setup. Setup is context, all the bars to the left, plus the signal bar. And we have a strong signal bar. 
I also talk about this in module 34 on how to trade. Yesterday we had a triangle in here. I don't have the lines drawn, but anytime there are three pushes up or down in a sideways pattern, it's a triangle. So we have a push down here, a second one here, a third one here. Um, we also have three pushes up, one here, two here, and three here. And this was occurring in a bear trend that had gone on for 40, 50, 60 bars. So when you get a triangle late in a trend, a bear trend, it usually becomes usually 60%, 70% a final flag. And not only does the breakout typically reverse, the market usually comes back up to the apex of the triangle, which it did in here. And where we go from here, um, I don't have the trend line drawn in, but on the 15 minute chart, uh, there was a top of a um, channel. There's a bear trend line here. And this is a very, very impressive breakout above that trend line. And the bulls are trying to create a double bottom. And the double bottom is a higher low. So the bulls are trying to create a higher low major trend reversal for another leg up. So this would be the first leg up. And then we have the higher low in the form of a double bottom. And then a second leg up. I don't know if they succeed. They will succeed. But I think there is a, uh, maybe a 60% chance we're going to get follow-through buying next week. If we fall down here early on, on Monday, and then reverse, um, same thing. Um, at, except that then it would be an expanding triangle. We have a low, a lower low, and then we would have another low down here. And that would be an expanding triangle bottom. And the target would be a push above uh, the top of the triangle. At that point, we would have three pushes up, one, two, three, and traders would begin to look for an expanding triangle bear flag. This uh, setup today, um, this was one that was fairly easy to anticipate, and as I said, I talked about it in the first minute of the um, day, and this is a good, this is a good trade for um, traders to take. You could scalp part, you could swing part. And you had several chances to enter as the trend um, continued. And that is the end of my blog for Friday, November 9th, 2012. Thank you.